There you are. G'day guys, my name's Jeff from uh, Canada. What is it? Tourists. <laughs> you want to try that again? Yeah. How many tequilas have you had? A few. Is that what it is? That's what it is? Candid tourists. Right, yes. right. Ready? One of the bonuses about staying at the Cremorne Point Manor over at Cremorne is that they do a really good breakfast. You have the choice of continental, tea and coffees, juices, and you can also have some hot breakfast as well by cooking up your eggs and maybe even toasting a sandwich. Sandwich for breakfast. We checked out of our hotel shortly before 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock was the checkout, and headed across to the cruise international cruise terminal. We were planning on dropping off the luggage and then just going for a little bit more of a walk around the rocks. However, their embarkation process is excellent. They took the bags off us and said, go on board. And they said, the only thing is, if you do go on board now, you can't hop back off. We were happy with that option and we were on the ship. I haven't experienced that on any other cruise line. Mind you, we've only been on Pino, but they certainly don't have that. We wasted no time in checking out the ship. We went to the Irish um, pub for lunch and then the guys decided to play some table tennis. As we had checked on so early, we weren't able to go to our staterooms. They were making an announcement at around or between 1.30 and 2 um, when we could actually go to our staterooms. Plenty of videos of people who have been on cruise boats and telling you what to do and really we've got on at what 11.30 I think we ended up walking onto the ship. The we've been to the Irish pub, we've had something to eat. We got to our stateroom so they give you a call out to let you know when your stateroom is ready and you can go in and just put your, um, your normal hand luggage that you brought on with you into your rooms. They're still delivering the bags. We had a quick check of the rooms and then we've just been exploring the ship really pool and checking deck. out the bars, pool deck, finding the view. <laughs> it's, just been, it's just a lovely way. We haven't bothered to reserve any places for restaurants so as you keep watching these videos you'll find out how that's panned out for us but we just thought we're, we're happy to go and have a hot dog for eat. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. for Christmas. Well, it's, I assume it's 24 hours. 24 hours. We can have whatever we want. And there's more than one 24 hour. <laughs> there is. Yeah. There is. So not, not too bothered by that. Some people get really funny and they want to go and book everything. But no, it's just, just, we're we're just, just taking it time easy. so much last time. Mr. Yeah, yeah, we're just taking it you easy. You're on holiday. You don't exactly just get hungry. Easy. Yeah. No. Are, are we hungry? I don't know, Leo. Are you hungry? I, nah. feel, I feel like another hot dog. Full <laughs> 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 Hey, Glennie. The Glenmore. See the Glenmore Hotel over there? The Glenmore. Can you see it? No, come on, turn it up, Lee. Come on. Magnificent Norwegian jewel, jewel, and uh, let me tell you guys, we've uh, only ever done what five or six P&O cruises, and this is our first time on a different uh, ship liner. And uh, we're pretty impressed. This ship is massively long. It's not. It's still only 11, 12 stories high. We haven't even explored any. How many? We, how many? How much percentage do you think we've explored so far? Uh, we've we've had eight drinks and one dinner. I think we've only explored seen two, do, two decks. Two percent of the ship. <laughs> but just let me tell you what a difference it is. The um, the ship is like a hotel. It's like walking into a Sheraton or something like that. Um, but I just wanted to let you know. Have a look at this for a sight. Normally you can't get up the front of most uh, ships and see the. the the, the front and it's just the bow I should say yeah and, there it uh, is just I just wanted to say have a look at the view out here and then with Circular Quay Sydney I'm not a big fan of Sydney but, I love uh, Sydney this particular spot I absolutely love I love visiting Sydney and being here in Sydney visiting mm. so uh, yeah we're gonna come back to you later on with a few more pictures and a few more videos of the Norwegian Jewel and uh, yeah it's gonna be a great trip although they expect they're not saying it yet but I reckon it's going to be rough. I think it's going to be six or seven metre swell, so we'll get a bit of a picture of that. We love the, the rough weather, don't we, Al? Yeah. But, um... I think you'll, um... 
yeah, it, it's starting to breeze up a bit. Yeah, it is a telltale sign that uh, when you come on a ship and, and all the, uh, the, the deck seating is still tied up, that normally means you're in for a bit of a rough trip out. Mm. Um, anything over about 10 metre swells you'll find in the swimming pools have also been drained, but I think between six and seven, you're looking at um, all the seating for uh, up on the top decks, they'll still be tied up. So I think we're in for a bit of a rough ride. But uh, Stick with us guys, we'll come back later on with a bit more of the Norwegian Jewel. We spent a little bit of time on the bow of the ship and then we headed to the rear of the ship which is the Garden Cafe and there was a really good aspect there looking out over the Sydney Harbour Bridge. There is a bar located at the rear of the ship here as well. Master drills. So much fun. Jeez. Oh, we're still getting used to navigating our way around the ship. It's really interesting because there'll be things on one side and then it stops and you've got to go to the other side, which makes it really hard. But we found the um, the Shaker's Martini and Cocktail Bar and I'm getting our La The um, The menu is quite extensive. So here's the cocktails. That one's not too bad. That one sounds alright. That one sounds alright. That's what I'm getting. Don't know about the lavender. No. No. Not the rum. Don't like rum. And no espresso. Yeah, you've got Tom Perry Young, you've got Top Master Spirits, you've got Still Going, My Selections, More Spirits. Let's put it this way, if you can't find something in this bar, there's something wrong. We are officially away! <laughs> Goodbye! Passion, 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 passion to try and all. Goodbye, passion Goodbye, crash landing. Goodbye, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Eight, eight, ten, seven, eight, eighteen, twenty-three. Is he cheating already? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, and do you have any running commentary on our trip yeah, out so far? Have a look over there. I'll look at the Sydney Harbour Bridge. We've got the Sydney Harbour Museum over there. That we you do. Walked up. We have uh, the pylon that I, I climb that. And we have um, Luna Park over this way. We've got Glenn over here from the Friday Frothy. Glenn, Friday Frothy. <laughs> oh, Friday Frothy. Friday Frothy, Frothy interview. And we got Merv Hughes, Jeff Horn, oh, yeah, Damon yeah. Hedder. And Luna Park. <laughs> oh, and Luna. Well, I don't think uh, how are we going? Again, yeah, for I don't 2009. Think, I don't think yeah. we interviewed Luna Park, but anyway. But no, we're going to short us on this trip to New Zealand because we are going to have a great time. We're going to show you things. I'm going to beat the crap out of Glenn on this. Uh, what do you call this thing? Shuffleboard. 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 We've had a. Oh, you know, we've only had game one. Well, and look, I came back from. This is not. This is what sport's about. I know. It's about improving. This isn't the frothy. But let me tell you. That's a frothy. Glenn and I had a cracking game of table tennis where I came back from bloody, what, 15 now or something. Yeah. Yeah. 20. He got me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here's Leah. She's taking a close no, up. It's What's a, going on? It's a fake strap. Oh. It's just to make it look like you do it up at That's the side, but you don't at all. Oh, look. can you do me? Yeah. Can you what do is me? the point can of that? Me, There's mate? Luna. <laughs> hey, Luna. There's Luna. Park. Let's zoom in. There we go. There's Luna. Luna. Hello, Luna. Park. What about these people up here on the bridge up the top here? Are they waving to us? Yeah, we did. I waved to them before. They did. They yelled at us before. Five people on the bridge. No. Goodbye, no. people on the couch. Yeah, no, that way. The tug's pulling us. 
Yeah. It's such a big ship, they actually need a little bit of help from the tug to yeah, that's bring gonna the back the, the ship around. Yeah. He, he, he's got the stern. Oh, stern. He's got the stern. Oh, stern. The best thing about departing on a cruise ship from Sydney is sitting out on the deck, and we were on the deck seven, and just watching the view as you pass out through the heads. We've made a long way. We've made it. Oh, here we go. Oh, hang on. Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is David, your cruise director, and once again, welcome on board. Now, we've just uh, sailed out of the head. It's been my birthday party. Yeah, it's my birthday in three months. <laughs> Where are we, Jeff? We're at Chin Ching on the Norwegian Jewel, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm not allowed to say ladies and gentlemen. Folks, viewers, here we are on the Norwegian Jewel. We're having dinner here the first night on Chin Chin. Is that what it's called? Chin Chin. Chin Chin. Chin, -chin. So we came across to Chin Chin. It's freestyle dining and we we were given a timer and we didn't, we didn't wait very long, did we? We didn't wait like oh, 10, ten minutes, minutes at the bar. Worth. Yeah, one drink's worth and the Hi. time went off and now we're now here and I'm with these two idiots over here. Hi, welcome to Chin Chin no, Restaurant. No, no, we're, we're not giving them any air time right now. We're going to look at this menu we're going to enjoy our meal. What just happened? Glenn, I did a creeping one out. Huh? I did a creeping one out. And on that note, it's now time to wind up our very first night on board the ship. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell and we'll catch you in the next one.